Hotep, Hotep. Greetings, greetings, peace and love. Feeds of goodness. And driving this Anjaquan here, breaking some bread. Uh, just got done getting my, my Kundalini Yoga workout on. And uh, uh, got out, you know, got out the water. Fixed myself something to eat. I'm about to eat in a little bit. I ain't, I ain't gonna show the plate today. It's pretty good though. I got some goodies on there, some kale. You know how I eat. You've seen it before. But uh, the spirit was breaking bread with me after I was uh, wrapping up my Kundalini workout, and I was still sitting in the Indian style lotus position. And uh, really just wanted me to go ahead and just just go in on some things. I uh, I'm I'm a very calm individual. I'm very very um, relaxed because I, I I'm I'm empathetic. You know, I'm an Arcturian seed, uh, Androgynous seed, uh, Pleiadian, and uh, I I know I know what's going on. You know what I mean? Like there's there really isn't anybody, and this isn't coming from a place of ego. This is just just coming from what I've been been revealed. There really isn't anybody on earth higher than me. And I'm not saying that I'm higher than any, anybody else. There are other people who this I can learn from any and everybody. You know, there's a, there are many people who have different angles of information, so I can learn from any and everybody. And I love it. I love the dynamic. But there, but the overall understanding of the situation that we're in, there isn't anybody on earth higher than me. So I need to be able to speak more and uh, and um, allow that to to just unfold. Me being a very humble individual, oftentimes I don't, you know, take it there. But um, as uh, J. Cole put it one time, you know, what's the point of being the one when you're the only one that knows it? You know, um, I've seen my, myself reflected in many, many things. And, you know, I, I don't need to be validated by anybody else, you know. Uh, but people have known who I am before they've met me before. They've had dreams about me before I've met them before. And, um... You know, they, and they bestow certain titles upon me. You know, and that, that doesn't mean anything. You know, that doesn't mean nothing. You ain't going to hear nothing that I say anyway because I, uh, just, just, you, you know, just from how I look or, or, uh, my, my, my physical currencies may not actually reflect my spiritual currency at this present moment, but it will. You can count on that it will. And even if it doesn't, I'll forever be wealthy. I'm forever, forever rich, so. But it would, but it will though, because I'm built that way. So anyway, I wanted to really go in on. Uh, I was gonna name this video uh, "Why I Don't Agree with um, a Certain Individual," but I'm not. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll say his name, you know. Uh, but I'm not gonna name it that, you know. Uh, I was gonna call it uh, "Why I Don't Agree with Tommy Sotomayor." That, that and um, that's what I was gonna call it. But uh, you know, he he's doing his thing, you know. And I'm not knocking anybody's hustle, whatever, you know. But when you start talking about the uh, the the um, the bringing together of our people, the uh, the progression of our people, the raising up of our people, of all people, um, starting with the Moors, you know, the dark complexed Moors, as we seem to be the most uh, persecuted and, and the most um, held back. Then, if I'm starting from that point, then anybody who is is opposite of that, or I feel, and or I feel that they're not speaking in a way that's conducive to this harmonious situation. Then, uh, then, then I, I'm not going to agree with them because whether we seem to understand it or not, the situation is it, it's, it's the heart space first. It's the heart space that leads to your illumination. It's the heart space that leads to your your higher consciousness and you being able to receive those higher downloads. Um, we're, we're sitting where there's there's still constant division. There's constant separation. You people are still constantly pointing, and you know, and they're trying to uh, antagonize. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not trying to do that in this video. I'm just speaking on the dynamics that I see. And as long as you put putting yourself in a position where it's, it's a versus situation, even though we are at war, don't get it wrong, we are at war. But the people, they're they're not really actually pinpointing the people who we should be at war against. They're still kind of going from a um, uh, and uh, external appearance. They're going from an external appearance of who they feel we should. Where we have problems with, rather than going from an internal appearance, internal makeup. That internal makeup is what who is who you are. It's not the external. So if you're trying to battle somebody from what you see on the outside, then you're not even you're not even fully. Um, you haven't even you haven't even uh, acknowledged your enemy, and you know you haven't even acknowledged somebody who's adverse to your uh, to what you want to do. So um, uh, what I am going to name this video is uh, 
why the Caucasian or why the white man and uh, why or, or the or the white race, the uh, animalistic race that you know, and those who have done their research, they know you know they know what I'm talking about. Why that race and why the the homosexual beings or you know well I guess that's the, the best way to say it really you know or, or the homosexual why the, why the Caucasoid and why these hom the homosexual beings are the key to more salvation and um, and, it, and it boils down to what I touched on previously um, it's it's because we're, you're when you can accept those individuals for who they are those ways of living those types sorts of lifestyle for, for what it is then you can then you're coming from the heart space and you can begin to work with certain individuals I'm not saying that you you know as far as the homosexuals I'm not saying that you should be all in the in the parades and all that type of stuff you know you can love them from afar you can appreciate them from afar and still not try to tear them down the reason why I spoke about uh, even the caucus or there's certain certain uh, caucus always that are you know, certain Caucasians that are highly, um, highly military, you know, they're military minded. All of them are, you know, they come from a, a more of a, a mind, a, 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 a mental makeup than the heart makeup. But some of them, you know, aren't that way. You know, some of them have a lot of love in their heart. You know, so, a, a lot of them do, you know, especially in this particular uh, incarnation or in this particular time period because a lot of them haven't had to experience um, a lot of the pain and the suffering that that the more has had to deal with you know from, from birth we've known we've, we've held certain ideologies of us being sub subpar or us or us being uh, inferior and 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 having to deal with the repercussions from the society looking at us this way and and um, it's created a certain amount of pain you know even our own people don't really love since they don't love themselves they don't really love their brother or their sister and then we have to deal with all of this and animosity in our neighborhoods you know in our, in our neighborhoods in our towns you know in our schools and you know, we, we're dealing with this constantly dealing with some you know people of our own complexion not liking us you know or not not wanting to work with us, not want to break bread with us so many of these Caucasians haven't had to deal with those type of experiences so a lot of them have a, 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 a lot of love in their heart a lot of a high vibration and uh, they they want to raise that vibration this is why they have their own consciousness moving go, movement going and they're making headway with it you know they're doing a lot of great things they're putting out a lot of information there and um, there's some information that I may not have been able to even be privy to if it wasn't for some of them who are really about their work, who have been chosen to inhabit those those vessels. If they weren't really about their work, then I wouldn't have been been come been able to come aware of it because a lot of the the Moors don't have the information. You know, a lot of them are still mad. They're angry. They're mad. They're sad. They're depressed. They're frustrated because they're not understanding what's going on. And until you go through that work. And you go through your particular path of, of initiation, whatever it may be. Different people have gone through different things. A lot of people have gone through the nation of Islam, and then eventually they go through and they become illuminated because of the work that they put in and, the, and the, you know what they're able to remember, the knowledge that they hold. Or they go, some people have gone through the uh, the five percent nation and they're able to become illuminated that way. Uh, I myself, I personally went through uh, Christianity. Some have gone through the Kabbalah. Some have gone, you know, there's many different ways. So, um, you know. So, so this Caucasoid is um. So, so a lot of them have done, have done their work and 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 they're to the best of their ability. You know what I mean? Um. So, when when you can have the love in your heart, like even for example, I I'm, I'm a certified Reiki master now, certified whatever. But I'm a, I became aware of how to perform Reiki consciously and how to help heal people on that subtle level on those subtle on the subtle bodies and, and I became more energy sensitive because of it my vibrations and frequency wave because of it and it was from a, a you know a, a Caucasian lady a sweetheart you know and up being in the same city that I was raised in and I didn't you know I didn't know nothing about this stuff before so when I came back from traveling across the country when I was doing contracting I ended up coming back into Fayetteville because when I was on the road I was doing my own studies and that and I came back to Fayetteville a lot more conscious and wanting to do and wanting to really experience, you know, experience more of that that lifestyle. I want to know more of that, and not be preoccupied with a, of a job that I know isn't really conducive to my spirit. Because I, I you know, I I've, I've always really been at a point, but I've always been at a point where you know nothing is more important to me than the deliverance and, and the salvation of our people, the, the the raising up of of this planet Earth. And it starts with the more, you know, whether you know, it starts with the more. 
because you know we're we're the children of the earth. You know we we reflect the soil of the earth. You know, so this you know I'm not, this is racism. You know what you know. If you don't know, then you do your research and you'll find out that this is the case. You know, just last night I was about to go to the well. I went to the store, walked outside. It was starting to rain. I was asking, you know, I really didn't feel like being rained on, but I was enjoying the rain on me. But I asked, you know, asked the weather to slow, slow it down. Let me go ahead and do what I need to do. And it stopped raining. I've done this numerous times, been able to communicate with the weather. Uh, and, and, you know, and, and it happens that way. And, you know, and results happen. You know what I mean? So I look like an old, a old school OG with my hair uh, laid back in this ponytail. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so. You know, uh, so so one time, so the reason why I was thinking particularly about Tommy Sotomayor um, is yeah, I was trying to break bread with this brother who's still he's a uh, he's he's a uh, he's African, but uh, he's he's uh, very much so in the Christian. But he's a Marine like myself, so he um, you know we natu naturally had a certain type of resonation with this, and we we made a break bread. You know, it, certain things happened where I was showing him. You know, uh, you know we were supposed to break break more bread, so I tried to hit him up. And uh, he was, you know, trying to do some, some school stuff at the time. I met him through school, but he was trying. He was doing something at the time. But he he asked me um, if I was on if I was on the same page as Tommy Sotomayor. And uh, I don't know who I didn't know who Tommy Sotomayor wa was at the time. And I'm aware of a lot of individuals, but if you're speaking on a certain mundane level, I normally don't even waste too much of my time with that because I'm a metaphysician and I normally want to go to the higher levels of knowledge. I want the, those type of secrets. I want those type of insights. I don't want mundane levels but I'm I'm more grounded now so I you know I realize I have to get more on the you know I have to deal with certain things that's on the, on this earthly plane and I, and I deal with them so when he when he asked me that I was like what you know I'm aware of a lot of people who in the world does this do you know and uh, I, hadn't, I hadn't really heard about him so I just really started to get back on the internet again and I noticed that uh, my brother and uh who my art rock and master herbalist he um was doing a little endorsing and I and I thought about some old interviews that I seen last year I heard him speaking about that name but I didn't really st put two and two together until that brother had asked me if I was on his on his team. So initially, I'm like, well, shoot, if to who my art is is uh, vouching for this brother, he's speaking, he breaking bread with it, then I know he must be of some type of substance, you know what I mean? Because that's a that's a brother. We're, we're, uh, uh, he's he's a Taurus. I'm a Taurus. I, I, I naturally resonate with a lot of things that he say, a lot of bre bread that he breaks bread on. So I um I did a little research and I ended up watching one video of Tommy Sotomayor. I tried to watch a video and. And and the video was him going. He was going into a store, and I guess he had seen some type of. I had. I guess he had seen a transsexual or something. But she, you know, she, and she was looking. You know, a certain type of way. You know, and uh, he he wasn't feeling it. So he's recording her secretly on the phone, and um, you know, and she's laughing. You know, playing, talking to her coworkers. You know, you know, having having a good time. You know, not not doing nothing negative. You know, and he um he he's recording her secretly, like you know, talking trash. You know, like you know, look at this. Look at this girl, whatever, and he gets outside. And he continues on with his trash talk, talking about this individual, you know. And that's the problem right there. Uh, people aren't looking at these people as individuals, as beings with a soul. As you, they're not loving their neighbor, they're not appreciating that brother is somebody who has their own viewpoint, somebody that chose to come down here and have a certain type of experience. So, you know, somebody that the Lord created. You know, and it's not like they're not like I need to spit. No, it's not like uh, it's not like they were created by uh, they created this individual or you know like on the, on the higher levels of things you know every, on the higher levels of things everything that is here is here you know what I mean it's it's already it's already here so people waste a lot of energy and time by um by by pointing and trying to say what shouldn't be here you know what shouldn't be here what shouldn't be here what shouldn't be here what shouldn't be here it's like listen motherfucker this is here you know what i mean like this is here you have to learn how to deal with what's here transform that shit in some type of way that is beneficial you know what i mean and and, and then move forward and that, and that way you're able to continue to move forward not sitting back you know not get not moving and then you get to a point where you see something that you don't agree with or you know something that you don't you don't dig and then you go going in on this shit. Meanwhile, you could have been using that same energy to progress and move forward, t you know, some rap trying to wrap you, you, you may not be able to wrap your mind around it at first, but you wrap your heart around it and say, all right, well, this is what it is, and I just continue to move forward. Eventually, the Lord's going to reveal, the Lord's going to send that download into you, what, you know, how, how that fits into the grand scheme of things, because when it's all said and done, you know, it, it is, 
it's only one. You know, it's only it's only one when it's all said and done. Once you get beyond all these different individuations, these these different separate groups or whatever, these separate ideologies, these separate points of view, these separate ways of being, you it all boils down to being one. So I always look at I always look at things from that particular aspect. What is what is the universal creator trying to reveal to me through this situation or, or through this individual or through this experience? You know what I mean? Because when it's all said and done, it all comes into one. It all comes from one. We're all from one. So I feel like um, you know we need to get beyond that. So I, I you know you know like I said I know a lot of. I'm aware of a lot of what you know the caucus order is doing, the white man has done, the the dominant the dominant uh uh individuals of society, I won't say the dominant race, but you you could say that, you know, the, 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 the dominant the people who are who are in control right now, those individuals, I'm aware of a lot of what they're doing. But I always try to transform it and transmute it into how how is it that we can turn this into a more beneficial situation? You know, there's a way to do that with everything. And if you're not looking at it on that level, then you're then you still have more degrees that you need to get to. You know, you need you still have more degrees that you need to raise up to. It's not nothing less than that. Nothing less than that. You know, so 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 us understanding, us understanding the Caucasoid and how they are, their military mind, the only one to be about mine and, and, and devastation and destruction a lot of them you know especially those who are in key positions but not all of them not all of them are like that there's you know there, and there's many instances there's many circumstances um you know that 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 could be the case and the same thing with the uh with with the homosexual or the individuals who are who who want to uh, you know who who only want to be with people of the same sex you know there's a lot of different dynamics when you go into the metaphysics of this thing or on why somebody may be attracted to somebody of the same sex and may only want to be with them, you know, or only want to be with that type of individual. You know, there's a lot of dynamics on why that could why that could be the case and, and why that's uh, their reality. But it's some, oftentimes it's not something that they. You know, everybody has a choice, but people are born with particular sorts of inclinations, or people are born with particular so, sorts of um, ways of being. You know what I mean? Like people are born with these ways, and. Um, I even met a, a, a eunuch one time. Like I don't think people take into account all of the different possibilities. You know, when they get into their little finger pointing and saying what isn't so, or that's not a man. That's not how a man acts. You know, there's certain things. Like, okay, it's obvious a man doesn't act that way. It's obvious a man doesn't 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 uh, need to put his hand on a woman. It's obvious a man is going to handle his responsibilities. You know, certain things like this are obvious. But then you start getting into little meticulous things, and you try to say what a man isn't, or you know, what a woman should or shouldn't do. And it's like, well, listen, you don't know the whole the full dynamic. You don't know the full scope of that individual's makeup. You know what I mean? Like this person was born in a particular place, in a particular time, with a particular name, under certain types of genetics, and the planets were, you know, on, on, in a certain type of alignment. You know, when they were born. You know, so this person is completely and wholly unique in and of that person's self. You know, they have their own particular lore. They have their own particular set of experiences they need to go through you know what I mean this this individual and everybody is like this and everybody went through half you know were, were selected out of half a billion other sperm when we ch when we were able to make it into the womb and become who we are and, and develop and get this physical body you know and, you know so none of this is accidental so it's less about trying to sit there and say what shouldn't be or who you know, is is doing this, that, and third. It's like, listen, man. Especially as Moors, especially as Moors, like when 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 we understand that we cannot build separately. You know, we have to find in, interweave the similarities, the things that we can deal with, and then build from the build from that. You know what I mean? Not separation. Not trying to say what somebody isn't doing. That's why I'm not trying to bash my brother Tommy Sotomayor. I'm not trying to bash him at all, but when I saw that, when I when I saw him doing that particular thing with that, with that from that situation, I didn't watch any other videos. I didn't watch nothing else because I already knew what his vibration that he was on. I already knew what was going on in his heart space. And certain people, you know, and and he doesn't also have he also, you know, and I, I don't want to bash your brother, but you know, if he if he had other things to offer outside of just maybe that entertainment and the, just just speaking, you know, what I mean, then I would try to listen to him. You know, I would try to see what I can gain from him, but he doesn't really have. I haven't seen him offer anything else besides his particular point of view. You know what I mean? Like if he had a certain type of science that he had mastered, you know, then I would try to, you know, I would deal with it. Like 
like Layla, uh, Layla Africa, Layla Africa. I got a book around, around here. Uh, it, it was up here. Uh, oh, it's up here now. I got, I got a book. I, now I support anybody. I got, I got, I got this book here. This is, this is authored by uh, Layla O Africa. This is authored, and he's a quality brother. But when I, but when I listen to his lectures, or even when I'm reading this book, you know, I can tell that there's a certain type of, a certain type of anger that he hasn't been able to resolve and even the last lecture I watched he he was he spoke out of his own mouth like I you know I don't need I can't even tell you know whether I, I, I'm just getting on my own nerves or but you know or it's you know and I was like wow I, that's exactly what I've been wanting to hear from you you know what I mean he, he said he couldn't tell whether he was getting on his own nerves or he was just getting aggravated at other people or whatever but you know I'm sure to a degree especially because of how his makeup is you know to the point that I'm familiar with him going through uh, uh, the the formal the formal medical world and then becoming uh, more um, more conscious on, on other things later on. I can tell that he's probably still a lot very much so in the mind space and not as much in the heart. Now I'm not saying that you should be you know in the heart space so much where you're able to get run over you know what I mean? or you're able to be taken advantage of. We need to become more military minded like the brother was saying in that particular lecture. We need to become more military minded because this these individuals who are in a position of dominance. Uh, they are military minded. They are every fucking day focused on doing some shit that is adverse to us moving forward. This, that's what the case is. So you got to be able to put that work in every every day to 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 help to be uh, a pillar in this new kingdom that we're building. You know what I mean? You individually need to be on your work, on your deem, as I heard some of the individuals in Islam say. You know, you need to be. On your way, and I, I Islam all day, you know what I mean. But that's not the path that I went through to become one. I, I went to Christianity, but I, I self Lord and Master all day. I am a more, you know. So, I, you know, you, you, we need to be military minded on that level as well. You know, I'm not, I don't disagree with that. But it's, but people need, to, we need more healing. We need more healing of this heart. We need to be able to, you know, really acknowledge. Okay, who, who is, who is about this building? Who is not? You know. Who was about this? And who is not? You know, and healing is what's going to take place. At we we are naturally a highly aggressive people. Once we go into military mode, it's game over. You know what I mean? But we can't go into military mode without having our heart cleared first. We can't do that because it's not going to be conducive to us building this new kingdom. We're going to fuck around and do the same damn thing that this motherfucker has been doing, not caring about people, not caring about the planet, not caring about your your vessel. You know, not caring about family. You, we can't go into that same mode. We can't be mad at him to the point and then step into that motherfucker's shoes and do the same thing he's been doing. That don't make sense. It don't make sense. We are from the heart. You know, as more as we naturally think heart, for, that's why we was able to be taken advantage of and able to give away the damn uh, fire stick and not think about using a, a fire stick as somebody else. We invented a motherfucking gun, but then we didn't think about ever ever using it to hurt somebody else. We it never it never crossed our mind because we don't have that type of heart. But we've gotten to a point where now where we're starting to have more of that type of heart, obviously. And it's obviously through certain things that they're doing, a lot through what they're doing, you know, what the, the, the individual's positions are doing, you know what I mean? But we have to be strong enough to be able to present healing, create healing for our people, you know what I mean? And that way, once we can be healed, then we can become military-minded and do what the fuck needs to be done. Until that, you know, you, you're stepping right into that person's shoes, helping that motherfucker do the work. And that's not where it's at. This is about higher vibrations, higher consciousness. You ain't going to get to higher consciousness unless you have higher vibrations. You're not going to get to higher vibrations until you have love and care and compassion in your heart. It ain't going to happen. You have to get to you have to get that first level first. Then then you get the higher wisdom. Then you're able to practically apply the higher wisdom, you know. It's is is overstanding knowledge wisdom. Overstanding knowledge wisdom. Heart space mind space then you have wisdom then you have full god consciousness then you are able to be god self until then it's not going to happen and we got you know so we have to understand these these individuals these folks that we're trying to be adverse to stop being fearful old school man that's the old school prototype i didn't see that motherfucker been around here for all these years and has not been able to progress our people They've had many organizations, but they still we still have many powerful organizations, especially in the early 1900s. We're talking about just the the, the black American, just the, just the American experience of of us being Africans in this in this most recent time period. There's been been 
plenty of people who have been in positions of power and once they stop having that love and care into their heart to be able to work together and fuck around and get their ego, their mind space involved in the situation, shit topples. There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to be have been able to rebuild these black the black Wall Street in Durham and in Oklahoma. We, there's no reason why we shouldn't have been able to the build they tore the shit down. Who gives a fuck? We built the shit from nothing. <laughs> we built it from nothing. So when the, it is no no way even out of wild. There's no no reason why we shouldn't have been able to to rebuild it and make it stronger to where it can become, you know, but obviously that needed to happen so that we can be who we are in this time period, but I'm just, I'm just, you know, just speaking, you know, that's, that's where our true salvation lies, when we begin to heal ourselves to the point that we can understand somebody else's situation and appreciate them for whoever the fuck they have chosen to be in this incarnation, then we will move forward, then we will have a true kingdom being built, until then, it ain't gonna happen. And if you on that other side where you're not trying to understand somebody else's point of view, stay the fuck over there. Get out of here with that bullshit, because it's not gonna fly. You you them you might as well change your change your fucking complexion and, and be a part of that because you're not you're not living like a moral wood. You're not you're not you're not you're not doing it. You're not doing it. So Spirit was just telling me I need to just go in on that shit and you know and, and just and just let it go. And let it go and let it be. So uh I'm about to watch a lecture of some sort, you know, get my military studies in, because, like I said, if we, if you ain't, if you ain't, if you're not building constantly, you know, you, you're liable to, to fall behind, because, you know, you need to be a pillar. You yourself need to be a pillar in this new kingdom. Plain and simple, you know, so you, we have to put in work. We need to be studying all the time, taking notes all the time, you know, uh, Trying to find ways, you know, and finding what resonates with us, and then you know, becoming a master of ourself. You know, you know, that's what needs to be happening. So, I'm about to go in, you know, get my get my grub on, get my learn on, however, however spirit leads me to to do it. But I just wanted to put this down and um and make this known. Like I said, I'm not bashing nobody, I'm not trying to bash anybody. But when I, that's what came to me. You know, when I was, you know, rapping at my Kundalini yoga, I was it was it was starting to. That's what was being revealed to me. I needed to speak on, so I wanted to speak on that, and touch on that. But uh, I love you. You know, stay encouraged. Be encouragement. You know, stay. You know, know that we know that there's greatness within us. We are great. You know, we are the definition of it. So, uh, but it starts with the heart. You know, it starts with the heart. Any master would tell you this. Any master would tell you this. It starts with the heart space first. If you're not coming from the heart space, and I'm not saying completely just be a little fucking pussy or no shit like that or just be able to be trampled around over I'm not saying no shit like that I'm telling you that you need to be able to appreciate these other end of these, these these different individuations of God you know what I mean you have to be able to do that otherwise we're not gonna be able to build you know we're not gonna be able to build heart space mind space God self you know that's it on that note you know I leave you in love and peace I hope you know I hope you know this was informative this was you know but if nothing else, I just wanted to get it out there. You know what I mean? Like, listen, we're going to get it done, though. You can count on that shit. We're going we're gonna to get done what we came over here to do. You know what I mean? We're going to get it done. And uh, I love you. Hopefully, hopefully we, me and you, me and whoever is watching it, whoever chooses to watch this, we can get it done together. You know, I'm all about building. I'm all about growing. I'm all about progression. You know, all about elevation. So, uh, you know, trees of goodness. Let's grow.